Good morning, Jenny, Meira, Kayla, and Lori. It's Thursday. Today is Brotherhood 2.0 Vlogbrothers Appreciation Week, and in honor of that, this video is coming to you in three parts. Part one, why I'm in a really bad mood right now. So anyway, I'm in a bad mood because I sold a DVD on eBay, and it was a couple of weeks ago, and I sent it priority mail, but apparently the person hasn't gotten the DVD yet. And even though I sent it the same day as two other DVDs, and those people have gotten their DVDs, um, apparently I'm probably going to have to give this person a refund, even though it was my fault, and I have the receipt and everything, but it was so stupid that I didn't pay for delivery confirmation or insurance or anything, so... Uh, basically there's nothing I can do and I'm just gonna lose my DVD and money. Part two is spitting yarn into wool. Uh, John and I went to the Renaissance Festival, Colorado Renaissance Festival, the last couple of weekends and it was completely awesome and this last weekend was the most awesome because we both dressed up and John looked really hot in his Bowman tunic. He looked like a, a ranger. And they also had a knitting shop at the Renaissance Festival which was really awesome and they had these cool little drop spindles which I bought. And basically a drop spindle is a travel size version of a spinning wheel and you can spin your own wool into yarn. So I'll give you a little demonstration of how this works. Uh, first you take your wool and you kind of wrap it around the bottom and then you wrap it around the hook that's on the top of the spindle a couple of times. You pinch a section at the top there, give the yarn or wool a good twist, work it in your arm, then you'll need to draft out the wool a little bit kind of just stretching it to the consistency that you want your yarn to be, being careful not to break it. You pinch off a section above your other hand there, you let go, and the twist will kind of travel up there. Then you repeat. Part 3, Brotherhood 2.0 Appreciation Week! Yay! Hopefully I'll have a surprise prepared for you guys at the end of this video, but for right now I'm just going to talk about the Vlog Brothers and what makes them so awesome. I love Hank and John Green because not only have they influenced so many other people's lives in so many big ways, like decreasing world suck and donating to charities, but they've influenced my life in a lot of small but significant ways. Uh, one thing they've influenced is my vocabulary. I now use phrases like made of awesome and totally jokes on a regular basis. Um, they've influenced the way I view myself. I'm proud to be a nerd now. I'm proud that I'm pasty and white because I stay indoors all day playing video games. I mean, once upon a time, I might have been irrationally embarrassed to say things like, I listen to medieval and renaissance music for fun, or I dressed up like Princess Zelda for a sci-fi convention. But Hank and John Green taught us that it's not only okay to be nerdy, but that being nerdy is one of the best things that a person can be. Okay, and now for the big surprise, what you guys have all been waiting for. In honor of Brotherhood 2.0 Appreciation Week, I am going to drink a blenderized version of a vegetarian Happy Meal. So I have some uh, oven baked french fries. I have a Morningstar Grillers patty with ketchup and pickles on a bun. <laughs> and for a drink I have mug root beer. So here we go. Okay, here goes the hamburger. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and dump everything in at once. Root beer. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Here we go. On the lid. And... Oh, that smells gross. You can turn the camera back on if you want. <laughs> it smells horrible. <sighs> okay, that's probably good enough for now. Okay, here we go. One vegetarian blenderized happy meal. Oh, I'm gonna have to eat it with a spoon. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that is so gross. <sighs> the things I do for YouTube. Oh. 
Wow, that is the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten. You want a bite? Olive likes it. She does. Oh, Olive, we're just 